In this question, we are asked to determine the magnitude and direction of an electric field based upon the equation for the electric potential. And the key idea to doing that is to understand that the electric field along the x direction is going to equal the negative of the partial derivative of the electric potential with respect to x. So, for instance, in order to use that idea, we can write down the equation for the electric potential. And then to take its partial derivative with respect to x is relatively straightforward because the electric potential is given only in terms of x. So it's basically just like taking a regular derivative that you learned about in calculus. So the partial derivative of the electric potential with respect to x equals you just use a power rule. So you multiply 2 by the coefficient of 1500. This gives you 3000 x. And then you subtract 1 from the power, so it becomes x to the 1, or just x. So this is the expression for the partial derivative of the electric potential with respect to x. Now we can use the equation for the electric field, because once again, the electric field along the x direction equals the negative of that partial derivative. So it would be negative 3000x. And now this expression for the electric field can be utilized to calculate the electric field strength anywhere along the x-axis. This question directs us to calculate it at the location in which x is equal to 1.3 centimeters. So all we need to do here is plug in 1.3 centimeters, except let's make sure that we convert the 1.3 centimeters into meters. So you'd have to take your 1.3 and then multiply that by 10 to the negative 2, which converts that into meters. Now when you plug this into a calculator, you will end up getting negative 39. The units here for electric field can be expressed as volts per meter. So now we can easily answer the parts of the question. Part A only wanted the magnitude of the electric field. Recall that the magnitude of the electric field would be the absolute value of the electric field that we calculated. So the absolute value would just be positive 39 volts per meter. And then in Part B, we need the direction. And it says directed towards or away from plate one. You'll notice that the electric field had a negative sign in front of it. So if we were to draw the electric field at this location, because of that negative sign, it would be directed along the negative x axis. So it would basically point this way. That would be the direction of our electric field. So the direction is to the left and the way in which they asked us the question, we could say that it will be towards plate one. Because plate one in our picture was located right here along the y-axis at the origin. So that would be the correct answer to part B. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I'd greatly appreciate it. But if not, no problem. Appreciate you taking the time regardless to watch.